This robot is special! He's powered by the energy from your little friends! He is invincible! So I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit I'm a little scared. I don't think we can beat this guy. See you on the ground, buddy. Huh? Sonic, no! Just got one last thing to do! As for you... This is it, the final boss of the game. No Chaos Emeralds, no Super Sonic, but it's still a pretty good fight. Things are going tight, we really don't have much help for this. Chaos is going back to the surface, hopefully. Everything's alright with him. Just us and a big giant alien dude who has seen better days at the beauty parlor. Oh, this is gonna take us a little bit of jumping. Even the powers we've had in the past, they're being used against us. Cube, spike, actually laser, certainly frenzy, that's pretty much this whole robot. However you put two and two together, is using the whist against us. But we gotta press through. If we keep fighting strong enough, maybe we can free them and... Who knows, we gotta win. Just gotta brace ourselves for the worst and... I gotta say something about this fight. This always gives me annoying time with when I can and can't hit him. Like, there we go, finally, you, sometimes I can hit him right in the first time after dodging his array of attacks. Sometimes I have to go for three arrays of attacks before I can hit him. It annoys me sometimes how there's no way to tell when you can really strike. Because I have to keep jumping up in the air until you see the homing attack icons. But I gotta confess, even when you can see the homing attack icons, Sometimes you only get one or two homing attacks off before he breaks away and goes back into this space where he sucks up all the wisps. Boosting should make it a little easier to catch up to him. But that's what I mean by sometimes you only get one homing attack off and you don't even get to damage him. How did I not get hit by that? Okay, no. I had you that time, sir. Go ahead and keep faking me out with this. Can you at least give me more wisps to work with? No? Fine, I'll just punch you for being a jerk by hitting you right in the face, Baldy McNeil's hair. Kabow! Alright. Rings are only for ring. Rings are only for ring. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, there isn't. I should have double jumped there because there's no way I can avoid both of them. It's too darn close. Perfect. Perfect job dodging that. Just gotta dodge another set of Q pyramids and hopefully I'll be able to get a strike on him and get more rings. Because it would be nice to, to be able to do that. Okay. No! We really don't have the. Ability to avoid your attacks and that around. You need the ability to get the ring again. Now, I said ring as in singular. I don't even care if it's plural. Okay. The only thing knows here will even combine with powers as he uses them against us. That was a combination of cube and spike ray over there. No need. I'm gonna get my way, Bolly with those hair. Oh my gosh, we're actually freeing the aliens. They're even coming along our side. Hopefully they can help us. But the more we beat up Eggman, the more reckless his attacks are gonna get. 
feels like I shouldn't be where I am sometimes with these attacks. Like, I occasionally feel like I'm in an area I'm not supposed to be. That allows me to dodge the attacks too cheaply. No me! If I can just get this- oh my gosh, that was so close. If I was closer, I probably could have got a hit off on him. Alright. Cuban laser is time, and I get the strong boom. Gonna have four. I could dodge it like that. <laughs> Whoa, no, no! Why did I sidestep when I wanted to jump? Shouldn't matter as long as I can hit him this time. Jump. Jump! Just practicing for when the attacks get stronger, because the more we bash Eggman, the harder he's gonna get to avoid the attack. Right into the face! Yay, three more Violin buddies. As we beat up the robot that lies within Eggman's grasp, the music changes. It's more intense. As he continues to roll the worst he's got at us. The music gets more intense to cheer us on. We have to win this. For the world, like always. For the Wisp. For everybody. For Tails. What more do I gotta say? This! Baldy! Mick! Nose Air! Alright! Perfect! I don't even think I meant to hurt him that time, but whatever. You, 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 you horrid little hedgehog! Unlimited colors! Razor! Drill! Spikes! Rocket! You! Hover! Frenzy! Final color blaster! I think I cheated out of face that fight somehow for boosting, but hey! There he goes! Eggman's flying out to space! We did it! We are victorious! We did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! We're victorious! And save the day! Nah, you would think you'd get one more life to add it up. Yay for bouncing lies! Well, that's it! Defeat Egg Mountain and save the West along with the Earth. Oh no. Let's just see what happens next. Turned out the lights. At Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, you can feel comfortable knowing your safety is on the front line. Oh, shut up! Oh yeah, the final boss has been defeated, but that's not the end of the game. We still got one more act to go, I completely forgot about this, mostly because of how hard the first act was. This one's going to require a lot of sidestepping and possible jumping in order to survive though. So it's a good thing I'm good at side jumping. <laughs> Why not side jumping? I'm good at side stepping, I'm good at jumping. Why would I not be good at side jumping? I don't think even with Sonic speed we can make it through though. It definitely doesn't help we don't have any boost. How are we gonna survive?
okay? Man, I can't believe you made it through that. I like you thought I wouldn't. The only thing I was thinking about was getting pushed into an elevator. Well, a hedgehog's gotta do what a hedgehog's gotta do. Great job, Sonic. Thanks, but I had a little help during that last part. Saving us. Uh, he says you are welcome. That thing's translating pretty good. Yep, I finally got all the kinks out. We can talk to them perfectly now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, great. He says goodbye, my friends. I have to go. <laughs> Just when I got this thing working. Better late than never, buddy. And that's all there is to Sign Colors, at least the main adventure. Though I'll go into more detail of what I'm planning on doing after this LP. After I get my thoughts about this game, which I think I made clear throughout the project. And about making the project itself. Cause I'm gonna be straight up and forward with you about this. We're in for a very long ride with this credit sequence. This has gotta be one of the longest credit sequence of a game that I less play than commentary playthrough. Probably why I'm put it. And the only other game I can think of that had a credit scene this long and for this many people is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes, I actually played a Legend of Zelda game. Don't expect me to ever LP one. <laughs> As for the game itself, I've mentioned it before, but this is definitely one of my favorite Sonic games. And a lot of people consider this a highlight of the Sonic series. Majority of people really thought Sonic was so close to getting out of the quote unquote dark age of Sonic with Sonic Unleashed, but they just didn't like the Werehog section. And Sonic Colors gameplay is pretty much the best parts of Sonic Unleashed without everyone's least favorite parts of Sonic Unleashed. So of course it's gonna be good in comparison. I never actually beat Sonic Unleashed, but I did run it and played a good amount of it on the Wii version. And you know, the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed gets a lot more flack than it deserves. The Werehog is not that bad, even with Wii controls. I actually enjoyed it with the Wii motion controls. At least for combat. I will admit what made me pretty much rage quit Sonic Unleashed was one section in the Werehog. It like involved these keys, and it's something I did before, but it's like I just couldn't find that one key and I just spent forever getting lost. And that's when I quit. The combat I actually enjoyed, swinging my arms around kind of reminded me of playing a drum. And maybe just a little childhood nostalgia of playing the percussion when I was a kid that influences why I like it. But I feel there's also like an in-depth with the level up system and the combos you can pull off. And it's not vital to master any of them to beat the game, it just adds to the experience leaving more to do than just flailing your arms. Actually, I could say that I made out pretty well in the Dark Age of Sonic. For one, I didn't play Sonic 06. I honestly was tempted to, but thankfully, as a kid, I never got an Xbox. I actually liked Sonic and Secret Rings as well. It was another game that I rented and never actually complete. I will give it to the people who complain about navigating for the game and figuring out what levels you have to beat. That's pretty much why I didn't beat the game. But the things people complain about besides that, like the controls, 
I never ran into those issues playing the game. So, I don't know, there seems like to be a lot of things in Dark Age of Sonic that I want to revisit and see if they were really so bad, or if it's just the title that was making them bad. Sonic Unleashed, Sonic the Secret Rings... Both games that if I ever pick them up again, definitely be worth exploring. Seeing if it's actually worthwhile. But back on Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors is good. I would actually rank it up with Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. The only reason that I would possibly consider those games being better is because I actually like the whole ideals of different characters having different gameplay in the Sonic Adventure games. That's like the one thing Sonic Colors doesn't have. But actually, I find the gameplay of Sonic Colors a lot more fun. Yeah, you heard me. I mean, they're both fun, but Sonic fans will argue that it's not about speed, it's about platforming, but come on, Sonic was advertised to beat Mario by being more fast-paced and cool and just doing what Nintendo. Good platforming makes for a good Sonic game, just like any other platformer, but the speed is what defines Sonic to me. And the speed from these most recent installments of Sonic games, like Sonic Unleashed, and then Sonic Colors, then Sonic Generations, I just didn't get that with Sonic Adventure. Almost like an adrenaline boost in video game form, you could say. That sort of excitement when you're going that fast. Granted, that's not the only time, gameplay-wise, I enjoy the game, but it was a form of excitement I didn't get from the other ones. And I gotta bring up the dialogue again. I don't think even Sonic Adventure did it, but it might have been where they got the inspiration to go in that direction. Of just not being too serious, taking yourself very lightly. Though I think they really got the inspiration from that from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Oh my gosh, if you like that, you're definitely gonna like the dialogue of this game, and vice versa. If you hate that cartoon, you're gonna hate the dialogue in this game, but it's skippable, and the gameplay makes up for it, in my eyes. Then again, in my eyes, I love the dialogue in this game. <laughs> and all these qualities about the game play a really important role in why I decided to let's play it. You could say that this game was just like a happy pill. Whenever I recorded it, whenever I was editing it, it always made me feel better, even if I was feeling down. And I really needed a laid-back game like this after Golden Sun The Lost Age. And it wasn't just because the game was so editing intensive. I think the time when I was recording it just kind of was the time that I needed a game like this. I was still making videos because I wanted to, but I did have to question if I was putting so much work into my videos that I was losing the fun of making them. I was just finishing up college and there was a lot going on in my life. So much uncertainty as well. I guess it was all dressed up and it gave me even more reason why I needed a game to lay back. The only other time I could think of that would be best for this game was when I was all done LPing itself. And I like this game too much to wait that long. I think out of all my projects, I'm gonna miss this one being over the most. There's other games that I give my most favorite game to, but this one definitely has a quality that no other game that I've played had. Just the way it knows that life doesn't always have to be serious. You can make a couple jokes here and there, even if no one laughs, even if they get a little more annoyed, someone will laugh at them. And someone will enjoy it. And I feel everything about the game complements that theme. The game plays fun, but it doesn't try to be too serious. And the music and environment complement this. I mean, come on, we have a whole world that's just candy, sweets, and cheeseburgers. How can you take that seriously? And the game goes an extra mile to, like, include a whole bunch of little silliness into the game as you're playing it. I love the Eggman PSAs for that exact reason, and as I was playing the game, I had to point them out to you guys more. Playing Sonic Colors kind of made me get back into editing, to say. 
because I wasn't originally going to do any editing, but as I was seeing the Eggman PSAs, I just had to include them at the end of videos. That's why I'm going to miss Sonic Color so much, because I just don't know a game that's going to give me the same exact experience as this. Then again, I guess you could say that about any game, but more so this one. Just the positive feeling I get playing it, I don't think even my favorite games quite can recreate. I can have fun with them, but I just don't think they make me feel joyful and in the exact same way. Which is why I'm going to be as sparingly with my bonus episodes as I possibly can. <laughs> but seriously though, this makes a good segue into what I'm planning to do now that the main game of Sonic Colors is over. Playing for more, I might go back and do things I wasn't planning on doing before. But one thing I was planning to do... Well, just stay as little as possible. You notice that planet that had the Sonic head that I never explored? We're gonna fully be exploring that in the bonus episodes of this game. And if I can get enough people coming along on the stream, we might check out another feature that the game has. Because I don't really think I could go through it. I've tried to go through in past playthroughs, but it's basically a feature where you go through all the levels in the game, minus the final world that has the final boss in it. All at once. And I honestly get bored with it about... I think the virus I got was to the second world before going like, ah, it's not worth my time playing this. But if I were to do it for a stream, even if I had to post commentate it later due to Dazzle not picking up audio with my current streaming setup, I suppose that would make it worthwhile to actually go through that with you guys. So be sure to let me know what days work best for you for streaming, cause I want to do a lot more streaming with bonus episodes. In fact, before that, I have a bunch of Golden Sun to Lost Age bonuses, and by a bunch, I mean just like the final optional dungeon I didn't cover, which will include the final boss, which I want to stream off to you guys because I will be post commentating the rest of Golden Sun, but I can always just record that separately as I'm streaming it. As for a while, I'll be starting new, with Sonic Colors being over, uh, that's a bit more complicated. For one, I want to finish the bonus episodes of Golden Sun before starting anything new. After that, I have thought of a new project I want to do. It's not really a let's play, but you'll see the details of that sometime in the future. I will be announcing it at the dairy minimum by the end of the summer. I'm hoping to start and complete it before the end of the summer though, so stay tuned for that. I haven't completely forgotten about Jacket Yellow either, though it has been a bit more difficult getting over procrastination with it, to be perfectly honest. I've been letting other projects that I've been doing for the channel keep distracting me from working on it for one. And I guess the real excuse though is that I'm just intimidated by certain parts of the process. I want to keep it a surprise for you guys. but. Let's just say it's going to be taking my commentary in a completely new direction. And I do want to get others to help me with it eventually. I just gotta get over my intimidation of the new commentary direction before I make any official announcements of when the project will be starting and more details of what's going to be within it. I will say though, if you are or know anyone who's good with voice work, keep them in mind for me. I'm gonna need your guys' help with that eventually. Just not now. I swear at this rate, this Jack Yellow project's gonna be the Proton John Superman 64, the Pico and Mono, and the Delay and Chucky Conroy's OB. LP's bonus episodes. <laughs> Combine. <laughs> it's getting that bad. I think we're almost done with the credits, and Sonic Colors is what we're talking about. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching, thank you for all the support, the comments, 
and the likes, and the subscribing. The retweets that I got at the beginning of the projects, anyone who may share this in the future. And just watching the video in general. The support of you guys keeps encouraging me to run forward along the path of playthroughs. I'd be boosting through the path of playthroughs for you guys, but unfortunately, I am out of vitamin Z. Life Horde! Lies for days! Too bad it's the end of the game. Faster, you idiot! Faster! Put your backsides into it! Technically, we don't have backsides, boss. I don't care! Just push! We have to hurry! I already have my revenge planned out, and next time I will not fail! Of course you won't, boss. Of course you won't. On the bright side, a certain someone got their voice back. I feel like my old self! All I want to do is talk, talk, talk! Hey, remember when we were chasing those little alien guys? What's up with those things anyway? They sure were funny looking! Ha <laughs> ha! Smell good though? Duh. What I wouldn't give for the maddening silence of space right about now. Sushi, hey, I heard they started using fish! Bummer, we didn't bring any with us! Not that we can eat it since we're robots, but we could have looked at it! I love looking at stuff! I love stuff! The fireworks show game was great! Hey, how did you get all this stuff to blow up like that anyway? Loved it! By the way, can you get a dog? Sorry, we never destroyed Sonic. 